In today's video, we're going to talk all about this new Gen Y hitch that we've gotten. And if yeah. you've been watching our videos, you've probably noticed it in the background. And we've gotten lots of comments about, hey, are you going to do a Gen Y hitch video and tell us all about it. So today we're going to tell you about the pros and the cons of having this new Gen Y hitch versus the pull right super glide hitch that we had. And we had that hitch for about four years and it worked really well for Very us. Well. Served yeah. its purpose, functioned properly the entire time. We never had any functionality issues with it. We did have some other issues and we'll talk about that in just a second. We've had this Gen Y hitch for now about six months. Yes. And uh, ran it a little over 2000 miles. Before we actually did a video, we wanted to make sure that we liked it we were going to keep it mm -hmm. and it was actually something that we were going to recommend now we're not sponsored by gen y hitch we purchased this and we did that at the alliance rally back in may yeah and we're shooting this now in december so it's been a, it's been a while and i think we're confident enough to share with you the pros and the cons of the new gen y hitch I haven't memorized our model number, yeah. but I'll, I'll put it down at the bottom of the screen. <laughs> uh, but this is the 25,000 pound weight capacity with yeah. a 5.5 thousand pound tongue weight. Yes. All right, first we're gonna talk about the pros, what we really okay. love about this new hitch. And I'll let Leslie start because <laughs> most of the reasons we got this hitch was because Leslie twisted my arm and forced me into getting this. So the first pro to this hitch is that there's no maintenance, no greasing, no lubing of things. Yeah, and that was, that was Leslie's con for the other hitch because I would always somehow get grease all over me. Yeah. And then it'd be on my clothes and she'd have to do the laundry. Yeah, and we wouldn't know it was on the clothes. Yeah. So and after I ran it through. Transfer onto other clothes yes. or other objects. Yes. So having grease was definitely a con with yeah. the Super Glide. Mm -hmm. And now as a pro because we don't have it with the current Gen Y hitch. The only thing we have to do maintenance wise, there's no greasing no lubing no anything like that which we had to do with the other hitch mm -hmm. this one you only have to lube your ball once every three months the next pro for this gen y hitch is there's no chucking mm -hmm. on takeoff and on stop with the pull right super glide when we take off you would get a little yeah. chunk and yeah. then when you stopped you'd get a little chunk yeah. too and that was just because where it plugged into the puck system those pins went in when you took off it would chink up a little bit and then chink down when you when yeah. you stopped it was annoying to me it was yeah all right, the next pro is how we can hitch up on angles now. With the super glide hitch, we had to be very mm -hmm. straight, especially on hitching up. Unhitching, it was a little more forgiving. Yes. But with this new Gen Y hitch, we can hitch, I mean, all, all as far as we can go without Any hitting angle. the cap to the cab, we can hitch at that angle. Yeah. In fact, a couple of weeks ago, we had an issue where if we would have had the super glide, we wouldn't have got hitched back up. No. Absolutely not. Let me just show you this. I tried to, I tried to line up straight with the Gen Y out here to get it lined straight up. And look at all this that I dug out. I had to put it in four wheel drive to get out of here. If we had the super glide hitch, I would have to go straight in. And I'd have to be out here in this mud and I we'd get stuck. So because we're able to hook up on an angle on this Gen Y, we're able to leave. If we still had the super glide hitch and we're unhooked in this angle, we would not be able to leave this campground today. We'd be stuck. We just hooked up at this angle right here, which we would have never been able to do with the pull right. I mean, look at this angle. You gotta be almost dead on with the uh, with the pull right hitch, but this guy right here. That's the angle we hooked up at. It's just crazy. It's not even close to that's the straight angle from the truck bed and that's how how much of an angle we were able to hook up on we would have been stuck with the pull right one of the things you really got to watch out for though when you're hooking up on an angle is making sure your your truck bed doesn't hit your rv leslie was guiding me and making sure i wasn't there and if if i would have got too close once this uh gen y hitch cleared the front edge of that tailgate she would have been able to push that tailgate up and brought me back even more if i needed to but
We'll leave a link in the description below to Sumo Springs. Pop over there, we can save you 15%. And all you gotta do is put in the promo code WAYWARDWAGS when you check out. We're not gonna talk about hitching and unhitching in this video. Uh, we will do a separate video and give you some tips and tricks on how to hitch and unhitch with this Gen Y. It is a little bit tricky. There's a learning um, curve to it. So make sure you hit the subscribe button down there and then in a couple weeks we'll put a video up about how to hitch and unhitch with this thing. The other pro is we lost over 200 pounds in the bed of the truck yes i was so excited i danced in the back of the truck actually well, yeah but not only the weight <laughs> is we freed up the truck bed we yeah. used to be not be able to put anything no. in the bed of this truck and now that we got that 200 plus pound hitch out of it well we didn't the guys no, who installed the gen y hitch <laughs> got it out of there and it, and they were two decent sized dudes and they struggled and they struggled getting that mm -hmm. thing out of there it was a beast yes but now we're all freed up and we can put stuff in the back of the truck bed and now that there's not as much weight sitting in the truck when we're unhitched so now when we're unhitched we get better gas mileage in the truck all right so the last pro is the cap there's no capture plate to mess with anymore yeah that capture plate was a pain in the butt anytime we would take it for maintenance we'd have to remember to take that plate off because when they send the crane out to come get your rig they don't pay attention to that and, and we've had a capture plate damaged because they didn't realize there was a capture plate on there yeah so then we started taking it off and on ourselves before we got maintenance and the thing's covered in grease so, so you gotta glove up and you gotta get We're this thing both off gloved up. You put it in a trash bag <laughs> and then it's heavy you got to put it somewhere in your rig and then when maintenance is done you have to put it back on and it was yeah. just a huge pain yeah. in the ass there is one more pro to this hitch okay. and it's one of my favorites because I hate oh backing into spots. I prefer pull throughs, but when I have to back in, the super glide, the pull right, because it is a slider hitch, and when you back up, that slider hitch slides back away from the cab of the truck so that your cap of your RV doesn't strike the cab of your truck. But as it pulls back and that slider hitch slides back, it changes your angle every inch you move back because as you're moving back that thing sliding is changing your angle yeah. this gen y has one point of contact right on top of that ball so you have one single pivot point so it's way easier to back into spaces much now. easier now the only downfall of that is you don't have as quite of a good of a turning radius but we'll talk about that here in just a second all right let's go to the cons because there are some some downfalls of Not going major. through the new Gen Y hitch, but yeah. we want to at least talk about it and address it. So what's yeah. the first one? First one is that we are transferring our weight. It's not really changed anything except the weight's more on the RV now instead of the truck. Yeah, it's not really a con. We just wanted to let you know that yeah. the weight that we lost in the truck bed is now on the weight of the front of the RV. Yeah. So you don't really gain or lose anything. You just transfer it. Yeah. Um, the next thing is the con is the turning radius and the turning radius with the super glide I could go 90 degrees even more than that There's no way that the cab of the truck was going to hit the cap of the camper But there is a possibility with the gen y hitch if you turn it too sharp You could have a strike with a short bed truck with a short bed truck because we have a short bed truck We have a mega cab and so we that's why we had the slider hitch in the first place so with the gen y hitch you really can only go with the ball in the middle of the truck bed, you can only turn it to about 80 degrees. But Gen Y Hitch does make an adapter, which we purchased, and it plugs into your puck system and moves that ball back about six inches, which gains you about five to seven more degrees. Yeah. So you can get in the in the high 80s. Just I wouldn't turn it to 90 degrees completely, completely, because you might you might strike it. And we did test that out at the fairgrounds. As soon as we installed this thing, we went out to the parking lot yep. and we tested it out. We didn't push it all the way. So we came close we came close yeah we got it pretty close i mean it's still not and we still got about a about a foot between there but we didn't want to get too close just trying this out as you can see the angle on this it's probably right now at about an 80 degree angle and you, you, you can't see it probably on the camera but it's a, it's still a decent angle to be able to back up into a spot Maybe you can tell more if I go down the side of the, the side of the, the trailer and you can see what the angle of the truck is there. Okay, the next could be con, I would be the elevation of the front of the rig now. is a little bit higher than it was on the pull rack. If you're staying hitched up overnight. Yes. 
So if we're doing an overnight at a harvest host or just one night over a campground and we don't want to unhitch from the truck, when we had the pull right, mm -hmm. it sat pretty flat. But with the Gen Y, if you're on level ground, uh, the truck bed keeps the front end of the camper elevated a little bit. So it's all good though, because the way that it leans, you know, Leslie's in the front and if she were to roll, she would roll right to me. Lucky you. <laughs> <laughs> the next con is this thing is a little more difficult to hitch and unhitch. We had our system down with the pull right, mm -hmm. and it, it's a little tricky to hitch and unhitch too, so it had its little quirks. But yeah. this is, uh, it's a two-man job. For us it is. Yeah. It might not be for everybody. But we do, we have it figured out now. After we've yes. been doing this for six months, we have a system, we have it figured out, and we're going to do another video on how to hitch and unhitch, how we do it anyway, and mm -hmm. we've got it down pretty, pretty good now. Yeah. I think we got a good pattern going. There's still plenty of height clearance, so I know people worry about when you're hitched up, the front goes up a little bit more than it would on a regular hitch, but still, I measured it. We're still at 13.4, still plenty of height clearance mm -hmm. for those low overpasses at 13.6. If you are going to get a Gen Y hitch, which we recommend yeah. if you're looking into getting a new hitch, I would say buy it at an RV show or a rally. And why is that? because they'll install it for free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so at the rally we bought ours, they installed it for us, uh, and I'm glad that they did because yeah. it looked like a huge pain, it's and heavy. it's heavy, and I wouldn't want to do it no. myself. <laughs> so that's it, there's the pros and cons for the new Gen Y gooseneck mm -hmm. hitch for your fifth wheel. Um, we recommend it. Mm -hmm. It might not be for everybody, and if you're wondering about hitching and unhitching, you know, stick around the channel, we'll have a video coming out real soon. And hey, stick around for a few seconds because we're going to honor a fallen hero. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans while we're out on the road, everything you need to know is right down in the description of the video. Appreciate you watching. See you next time. Bye. Hey.